Okay, so there have been a few questions on integrating water into scenes. We're going to add water to this scene, and I've prepared a bunch of stuff beforehand, so we're not going to do it necessarily from scratch. Um, but first, I thought it would be really prudent to talk about the ways in which we implement water a lot of the time. Um, and there are a lot of options that you can explore. Um, the final product that I'm going to throw in here is going to be something that's freely available to you. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to show you kind of some entry-level methods, some mid-level custom methods that I've done, um, and then a, a professional-grade um, plug-in for, for water as well. So um, let's start here. So this is a game I've been working on for a little while now, um, just over a month. Um, and it's about a space station here that's underwater. I'll show you a little bit closer here. Uh, and it, I think I've achieved a, a fairly nice, though quickly implemented, um, water effect here. Um, but there's actually no water whatsoever in this scene. There's absolutely nothing. Um, in fact, this effect <coughs> that you can see um, on the right here in the game view with the UI um, looks even a little better like this, because <coughs> that's the intended direction that you're supposed to look at this. Um, uh, I think it looks quite nice, but there's, there's absolutely no water whatsoever. Um, so this is what the scene actually looks like, and I'm using a number of post-processing effects um, to achieve the watery look. Uh, in particular, there's a very heavy fog throughout the scene, and there's um, the station itself, this object cuts through the fog uh, in, a, in a couple of, of coding, <laughs> in a couple of ways that I have coded, um, it can cut through this. And then there's an overlay over the camera um, of this kind of bluish color. <clears throat> and I've also combined it by making this spotlight quite blue as well. Um, and those effects kind of achieve this underwater look for this. And I think it's perfect because there's nothing... Um, you're never going to be above the water, so you never need to look into it. You're always kind of deep sea. Uh, so this is that approach. And that is an option, and I do combine this methodology later on as well for being underwater. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, and I do that in this. This is uh, my longest term project that I've, I've been playing with off and on for a couple of years now. Um, so there's an environment here, there's a skybox out here that's lovely. Um, but when we get inside into this watery area, we have water down here. Uh, it's quite clear. There's actually a light under the water to make sure that people can see when they're down here. Um, but you can see, here, I'll move that over. Um, you can see down into the water. Uh, you can ignore these gizmos here because these are, these are things for making sure I know where everything goes for the gameplay. Um, so you can see down into here, and when somebody, um, you know, moves into the water uh, down onto one of these plates, um, it doesn't look quite like this, it actually looks a bit more like this down here with this kind of bluish overlay, so you feel a bit more like you're underwater. Um, and this is done in the exactly the same way, um, as what you're going to have. I've got a couple more scripts in here, but let me... Um, show you. I still use that same shader. It's just been made uh, a bit more complex that I'm going to show you in a moment that we're going to use that I highly recommend. Um, and if you look up from inside of the water, I do also have a second plane here that's reversed and is pointing down um, with exactly the same material here. Uh, it's, it's exactly the same but in the opposite direction. Uh, and you can see a little bit that this water does move very, very slowly. Um, it Unfortunately, I have to fix this. It reflects the sun even when indoors. Uh, so the sun is this big halo out here in the skybox, um, and the reflection is maintained. So I need to make some adjustments to the shader graph um, in order to make this work. 
We aren't going to go too much into shader graphs, but this is what one looks like. This should be um, of particular interest to you guys as artists. Most of you are, are art students. Uh, but this is, it's not code, um, but it is a series of nodes that modify textures um, with color and time and math to eventually generate uh, a material like this. <coughs> um, and so I'm going for kind of a pool effect here. There's no reaction. The texture just goes right through here, right through um, the walls. It goes right through all of these textures. Uh, so there's definitely some uh, improvement that can be made here, but this is good enough for my purposes, especially for something that is so exceedingly low poly as this particular game is. Um, so this is our scene that we have been working on for a little while, um, and I'm going to link the uh, Unity packages here from all these shaders. Um, water is number 16 here, and I would definitely recommend checking out this. It's going to be linked in the video, and I'll probably link it on Canvas for you too. There's a video on YouTube under um, Javid Jake. I'm not going to. I'm not going to butcher it. Um, under this name that you can search under 30 Days 30 Shaders and it will give you a video that describes each one of these shaders here. Um, and all you need to do is, is uh, here I can even just do it right now, you can download it like I have here, grab it out of uh, wherever you downloaded it to, and then if you um, click it'll import right into your project here. Um, and all you need to do to, in order to utilize this, this one comes with a material, no problem. Uh, but if you import a shader that does not, you just have to change, create a new material, and then change the shader at the top here to one of your, to whichever material that you have downloaded. Um, so let's implement this. I'm just going to use a cube. We're going to make it fairly, fairly large here. Um, and bring it down a little. And then we put the material on there and it works right away. Um, so this is what I would probably expect you guys to end up using. Um, just because it's really simple water. We could probably work on the transparency a little bit so that you can see through it. Um, I need to recall how I went and did that. It may just be in here that it needs to be marked as transparent. Um, Let's let's actually just take a real quick look at this graph if I've got it. Take a look. Surface is transparent. The blend might need to be different. Additive is usually what you want for for a bit more transparency. Um, a bit tough to tell. Of course, there's nothing under here. Um, not in the way that I had uh, handcrafted the other one to be quite similar. Um, but as the top shader, this is not bad at all. It's, it's, I think it's perfectly serviceable. So definitely some potential here to use that. Um, so that's the kind of the, the easy, medium, hard here. Um, are, are super easy, just post-process it instead. Are, um, and kind of easy of just downloading it and plugging the material in. A bit more complicated with uh, a few layers of code on top of this water to make it do what we need to do. I've got some underwater effects and some movement here um, involved in that. So what are the professionals doing? Um, well, they're probably doing something similar to what I have here, which is a remarkable system. Um, so this would be a professional example of water that's uh, really, really nice here. Um, I haven't set up this scene to kind of block the water and generate foam and change depth uh, when it touches this kind of geometry. So the water is going to phase right on through our house here. But if we have some terrain or something like that, it will work really nicely if we can put this on top of terrain. Um, and the other thing that we can do, I'll add some terrain just so that we can see a bit more uh, under terrain. So if I make a really quick terrain, um, let's edit it a little bit because 
most of you are using uh, terrain for these ideas. We're gonna. That's a little ugly. Let's make it a little nicer. Um, so as if there's like a some kind of island here. So if this is our island, and let's make it at least marginally colorful. Uh, with some gravel, throw all of that on there. So at least it looks somewhat sandy. And if we were to um, want to just kind of surround this whole island in water, we would have to make a couple of changes here. And then this needs to be over here. It should be over there. Um, Let's throw our water texture on top of this, if I can manage. There we go. Um, and then I can raise and lower this to make it as... Oh, raise and lower the cube, so this is our water. And that kind of changes our water level over time here. <coughs> this is the simplest way to do this, and I think this is probably the best for our purposes, considering we're still low on time. Um, just adding this water in a very um, kind of old-fashioned, but still... a a remarkably useful way so that we can um, you can even kind of make the simulated waves by increasing and decreasing the transform the way that we had discussed marginally in class um, kind of moving stuff up and down over time so there's a little bit of potential there um, but getting back to this ocean system that I have here um, I did pay for this um, it is these assets especially these professional grade assets are not cheap um, I believe this is about $60 for this particular water asset here. Um, and they do also have a, uh, not this one, Metal Pirate Cove. They have a scene here that demonstrates a number of um, special features, uh, all of which that I have modified accordingly in order to make this one really, really nice. Um, it actually runs a little bit better if you play it. So I'm going to play this up, and I'll maximize it for us so that we can see. Uh, and this is going to be really professional-grade water um, as soon as it finishes up. Okay. Turn this down. Uh, so I put in a, a number of settings here that help the water look quite a bit nicer, um, like modifying this foam. So around every edge, ocean water tends to make foam you can see right on through it like this. It's got a really nice uh, kind of scattering effect. And if you're under the water, it looks really remarkably nice. Um, there are some limitations to this particular plugin. You can see that the water is infinite, so it's terrible for indoor pools. Uh, I wish I knew that before I had bought it for that other project for Teleball there. Um, <clears throat> but it is absolutely lovely. The terrain is actually blocking the water as it moves over. Um, it's not perfect because you can see the water does disappear when it comes down. You'll see it in a second here. The water will disappear all of a sudden down there, down and through. Um, but I think that this looks so darn nice um, that I would never complain. The shallower the water is, it moves things. It can move this boat. Shallower the water is, the more kind of a, a light blue cyan color it is. You have depth, you have these gorgeous, huge waves. Um, so water really has some potential here. Of course, I'm not asking you to buy this for this course. Of course not. Um, this free shader will do absolutely fine. Um, I don't even know if Crest will... This Crest Ocean System is the name of this plugin. If this will work in VR because it does take in cameras um, and we use stereoscopic rendering for VR so I don't know if that's supported um, but I wanted you to at least see how remarkable this looks um, I think it's, it's really nice there um, so I would say that for now let's integrate water in the fashion that I had discussed in our original scene here in our uh, let me bring this back up with our, our little conservatory that we had worked on um, and use that that cube in that uh, water shader here, which I'll do one more time real quick. So just the cube. 
make this huge. Put the shade, put the material on top of it, and this is absolutely fine for our purposes. Don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, check out the other videos that I'm posting today and uh, have fun with this.